Now to Harris County and the legal battle over drive through voting. The fate of nearly 127,000 Harris County ballots now in the hands of a federal judge. Those ballots were cast at drive through locations, which are now at the center of a lawsuit. Brittany Jeffers is live with what we're learning this morning. She's live outside of the federal courthouse in downtown Houston. Brittany, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. Well, I can tell you about an hour ago, protesters lined the streets out here while simultaneously, as you mentioned, that hearing taking place upstairs at the federal courthouse. Of course, the issue at hand that we're talking about is the drive through voting locations. One day before the presidential election and questions loom in Harris County regarding early votes cast at drive through polling locations. The Texas Supreme Court rejected a request to preemptively throw out early votes made at the drive through polling sites. Republican plaintiffs claim the program violates the U.S. Constitution, saying the drive through program is an expansion of curbside voting and under state election law should only be available to voters with disabilities. The Woodfill Law Firm, which represents one of the plaintiffs, says the Harris County clerk, Chris Hollins, failed Harris County voters. In a statement saying Mr. Hollins' drive through voting scheme is illegal and due to problems with the system, he's failed to register thousands of votes. The statement went on to say this is what happens when one person unilaterally attempts to create a manner of voting not recognized under the law. Joy Davis doesn't agree. I was a drive-through voter and I want my vote to be counted. She gathered with others this morning in front of the federal courthouse to share her message. And to have our right to vote diminished like that and to have voter suppression tactics used to take away our vote is disheartening. So we also know that the ACLU of Texas, as well as National, is challenging this lawsuit. Reporting live on Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you.